It's been a crazy Monday at the wizard shop. It's been total chaos. As soon as I can get three or four cars done, three or four more show up. I'm just about finished with the 550. I'm getting pretty close on the Murcielago, and I've got more coming after that. And we sold a tractor today. Crazy D sold another tractor. He's selling them like hotcakes. Speaking of Crazy D, you guys should check out his channel. I showed you in the previous video some of the work area and stuff they were working on. We actually sold one of those tractors in 8N today, and uh, you ought to check out his channel. He's got all kinds of cool videos about farm equipment, how to use equipment, the history of the equipment. It's a really cool channel. We have a lot more coming. A lot more coming, huh? A lot more coming, and I think we're going to start doing a series on the history of some of the ag companies, too. Sweet. So you guys kind of know where they're coming from. So if you guys seen tractors in some of the videos and you're wondering what's going on with those, he's the reason why the tractors are in my shop and he's the reason why we're selling them and making money. So I think the tractors are an improvement around here. <laughs> no. <laughs> so anyways, check out Crazy D's equipment. We'll have a link below and see what you think about it. Anyways, so if you haven't noticed, I have my thinking chair, like on Blue's Clues, I had a thinking chair. I know about Blue's Clues. I have little girls. So I had little girls. They're not little anymore. Here's my thinking chair. We're going to do a buy this, not that Chevrolet. Well, here I am in my thinking chair. We're going to go over some of the what to buy and what not to buy in the Chevrolet category. Now keep in mind, these are my opinions based on my experience in the shop. These are not based on data or facts or specifications from the factory. This is my opinion. I don't work on 2018, 2019 cars. If you want reviews on that or what you should buy in those, you need to look at consumer reports or review magazines or online even. Check those out. I don't work on those because they're still under warranty. They're going to bring them to the dealer and utilize their warranty. They're not going to pay me to fix them. They're going to get it done for free. So my knowledge of things that I know are a little bit the older years. And if you're in the market for 2000, 2010, somewhere in that range, then what I'm about to say is going to apply to you. I really don't want to do anything older than 2000 because the age of those cars are exceeding 20 years old. And really a car of that age, if you're looking for reliability, I can't recommend a car that old. It's going to have issues. I don't care what brand. It's going to, it's going to have some issues. So. Let's begin. In the category of compact cars that Chevrolet makes, one that I would say to buy is 2000 to 2005 Chevrolet Cavalier. Now some of you may say, that's an old piece of junk, oh so cheap. Well that's exactly right, they're cheap and they, they're very reliable, they're simple. There's not a bunch of gadgets, there's not a bunch of gizmos and computers and and heated seats and all these weird things if you're just looking for a reliable cheap car that gets good gas mileage. I've seen many of those cars in here and they're still going and they're still going. I mean it's just it's just amazing. So if you're in the category for compact car the one to buy would be a 2000 to 2005 Cavalier. So the one not to buy would be 2005 to 2010 Chevy Cobalt. Now these cars were made very poorly, very very cheaply. I've worked on a lot of them in my shop and I've seen a lot of major catastrophe failures in those cars, especially with the ones that are turbocharged. I've just not seen anything in those cars that I would recommend someone to buy and, and travel around and, and transport their family and it's just, it's not a car I would recommend. The irony of that is it's what replaced the Cavalier, but they didn't do a very good job of replacing the Cavalier. It's really a poor car, it really is. In the category of mid-sized cars that Chevrolet makes, the one to buy is 2000 to 2005 Chevy Impala with the 3.8 V6. Some of the other engines are fairly reliable, but the 3.8 is bulletproof. It's absolutely bulletproof engine. If you're looking for a car that's got a little bit more size to it, a little bit more power maybe, not so much fuel economy, you're going to get less fuel economy. Although the 3.8s have been known to do decent on gas, they're really a good car. I've worked on a lot of those for families that that's what they can afford, that's what they're driving, and it really works for them. They just keep driving and keep driving. So in that category, that's the one to buy. The one not to buy is 2010 and newer Chevy Malibu with a 3.6 V6 in it. And really, any General Motors vehicle with a 3.6 V6, please don't do it. You've seen a, a, a video of Tyler 
one of his videos that he made was, for the love of God, don't buy a used Range Rover. Well, I'm saying, for the love of God, don't buy a Chevrolet 3.6 V6. They have timing chain issues. If, you, if you're one of those that don't religiously change your oil, it will bite you in the rear. You'll pay for it with a new engine. Those are not tolerant at all of skipped oil changes. I, I've replaced a couple myself, and I've just seen them in dealerships. Failure, failure, failure. New engine, new engine. It's, it's horrible. So based on that, just the engine alone, do not buy a, that car, the Malibu 2010 and newer Malibu. Okay, now if you're looking for even more room in the SUV category, the one to buy, 2000 to 2006 Chevy Tahoe. Whether it be the 4.8, the 5.3, any, any size engine, that's really all you get in those, those vehicles. It's an excellent, excellent vehicle. I've serviced many of them with 250, 300, 350,000 miles, and they're still going strong. This is in the year range before active fuel management. If you get into that range, 07, 08, 09, I've personally put seven sets of camshaft and lifters in those. They just fail left and right. And they also don't tolerate poor oil changes, neglected oil changes. So in the 2000, 2006 range Tahoe, and you're looking for more room, something you can tow with possibly, a Tahoe is the ticket. The one not to buy is any Chevy Traverse. None of them. I don't care what year it is. Run as fast as you can away from those cars. I, I just serviced one today. The lady asked me, what am I going to do every time I turn around? It's $500. Something's broke. This is at multiple dealerships before she was my customer. Electrical problems, dash actuators, transmission issues, the 3.6 V6 failures. If you buy a Traverse, be prepared to put out five to 10 grand in the first few years. That's guaranteed. You can take that to the bank. If you're looking for something a little sportier or in the sport category, the one that I would say to buy is 2000 to 2005 C5 Corvette. I'm a little partial to Corvettes. I actually have one myself, the 84. But really, if you're looking for a sports car, you can pick up a C5 Corvette, 10, 15, 20 grand in that range, and it'll be an excellent, true to form sports car. Not a wannabe sports car, it's truly a real sports car. They're fast, they handle amazingly, and they're fairly, they're reliable. They have an LS motor and very reliable. So that's the one to buy. The one not to buy would be the fourth gen or 2000, 2002 Camaro. They are very difficult to work on. The windshield sits over the motor. If you have any issues, you have to pull the motor. It comes out the bottom. It's a nightmare. And they're built, they're, I mean, you say, this is a sports car. Not really. It's a wannabe sports car. A Corvette is a real sports car. A Camaro, nah, just don't do it. Don't buy one of those. For the same money, you can get a Corvette. Stick with the Corvette. The irony in this category is you only have two options, the Corvette and the Camaro, and both of them have been made for over 50 years. But we're talking about that range 2000, 2010 in that range, so that's basically what I have to say about sports cars in that era. So there's a lot of really cool, really nice cars out there but there's also some really, really bad cars. And some of the ones that you just really shouldn't have any business purchasing, and I'm sorry if you have these cars, but it's just the truth of the, the data and the experiences I've seen with these cars is again, the Traverse. You just shouldn't buy one of those. And that goes to the, the Acadia, the Enclave. They're all in the same family. They all have the same motors, the same chassis. Run away from those cars as fast as you can. You will pay for it if you buy one. Also the Equinox. That's one of the cars that so many people, ask, they ask me, what kind of car should I buy, Car Wizard? And I say, get a Toyota Highlander, get a 4Runner, or you know this or that, a Toyota. What do they always show up to the next week? An Equinox, a Traverse. And then I have to hear the sob story all over again. I shouldn't have bought this car. I'm already six grand into it. I, I, I wish I would have listened to you. And I'm like, yes, yes, this isn't the first or the second or the 10th or the 20th time I've heard this. Don't buy the Equinox, the Traverse, the Terrain, Acadia, Enclave, 
And for the love of God, don't buy a Chevy Aveo. They're just ugly as hell. Don't buy one of those either. So, if you've seen any of the tools in previous videos that you've seen that you're interested in, or you just want to see what kind of tools do I use, check the Amazon Affiliates page on the link below, and you can purchase them that way. We also sell uh, hoodies and coffee mugs, decals and things. Check that out and buy that if you're interested. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and remember every Saturday on the FYI channel, Car Issues. Don't miss it. We were just at the premiere party with Tyler. It was amazing. The show turned out absolutely amazing. You guys won't be disappointed. Hey, Car Wizard, I heard something's coming up. Oh, tomorrow's my birthday. And it looks like there's a hurricane on top of my cake. I'll be 40 years old. 40. Some of you have made comment that I don't look old enough to have a teenage daughter in college, but I'm 40, and now I have a cake with a Huracan on You've it. You've always wanted a Lamborghini, so mm. there you go. Mm. Oh, sorry. Right. I better go get a knife and a fork and gobble this thing up. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Many more cool videos headed our way.